What's up guys? Welcome to the channel and thank you for clicking on this video. If it's your first time here, my name is Chris Sweet and back in November of 2019 I committed to losing 100 pounds in a year. And I recently started this channel as well as an Instagram page to share and document my journey. The goal here is to share tips, tricks, strategies, recipes, and motivation that have and continue to help me during this transformation and today's video is no different. But before we get into that, let's roll the intro. Today's video, if you couldn't tell from the title, is all about keto cocktails or low-carb cocktails. You see, craft or classic cocktails have been a long-time passion of mine, uh, which I share on another Instagram channel called uh, Cocktails with Chris. But so many cocktails are full of sugar and don't really fit into the keto lifestyle. When I come across or happen to invent a low-carb or keto cocktail, I typically snap a picture and share it to that page. Well, yesterday, one of the followers asked me if I had a YouTube channel or a highlight reel uh, because she feels that keto cocktails are really hard to find. So here we are. Today's video will feature my top five favorite keto cocktails. I hope you enjoy and make sure if you have any of your own or want to recommend some, do so in the comments. So first up is the basil gin gimlet. Uh, this is typically done with muddled basil gin uh, fresh lime juice and simple syrup. But instead of using simple syrup here to make it keto friendly, we used cucumbers and jalapenos, both of them uh, muddled as well. I mean, the cucumbers and jalapenos don't really sweeten it up, but they give it that extra little bit of kick that you wouldn't necessarily get with, um, with just gin and, and lime juice. Now to make this one, you're gonna need two ounces of your favorite gin. We used uh, Honey Eye Falls Distillers Flower City Gin, which is local from right here in upstate New York. You'll need one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, two or three fresh basil leaves, um, two or three slices of fresh cucumber, and two or three slices of fresh jalapeno. Now, if you don't like it too spicy, remove the seeds from the jalapeno. And optional on this one as a gimlet typically has simple syrup in it. You can use a simple syrup for this, but make sure it's made with stevia or another um, non-sugar uh, sweetener. And I'll make sure I link a recipe for that in the description. Um, first thing you're gonna do is pour your gin into half of your shaker uh, over ice, and then you're going to slice up your other ingredients, muddle them in the other half of the shaker with your lime juice, and then you'll shake it until it's chilled. Uh, double strain into a chilled coop for this uh, beautiful masterpiece and then make sure you garnish with either a basil sprig or a uh, lime wheel for that extra flair. All right, next up we've got the Southside cocktail. A simple cocktail recipe, gin-based and minty with a touch of citrus. Some people say this cocktail came out of the Prohibition era. Uh, others claim that it was created in New York City at the 21 Club. Uh, wherever it came from, we're pretty happy that it's here. Let's mix it up. Now to make the Southside keto friendly, we're simply going to switch out the simple syrup for stevia simple syrup. Uh, what you're gonna need is, is two ounces of gin. Again, here we used Flower City. One ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, three quarter ounces of stevia simple syrup, and five or so mint leaves. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna muddle the mint leaves and the lime juice and then you're gonna add the gin and stevia simple syrup and shake with ice until chilled. 
Uh, once you've got it nice and cold, strain it into a chilled cocktail glass and garnish with a mint sprig. Enjoy. Next up, we've got a cranberry pink cocktail with delightful effervescent bubbles blushing with tart lemony flavor and a nice floral finish. Uh, this uh, ice cold hibiscus sparkling drink is starting to become my favorite cocktail. We call this one the lemon hibiscus spritzer and I hope you enjoy. To make this one, we used two ounces of Empress 1908 gin, one ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one half ounce of hibiscus stevia simple syrup, one half ounce of hibiscus tea, and then we topped it with ginger flavored soda water. To make this, you'll mix together all of the ingredients except for the soda water and shake until chilled. Pour it over ice in a Collins glass, top with the soda water, and then garnish with a hibiscus flower. Mm. Another one of my favorites is the Smoky Keto Rita. Uh, it's my take on a, on a margarita, and I prefer my margaritas spicy and smoky. So you'll notice that I use mezcal as the base spirit and also added some muddled jalapenos to this one as well. And for a final touch of smoky, spicy flavor, uh, coat the rim in pink Himalayan salt and chili powder. This one's a good one. To make the smoky keto Rita, you'll need one and a half ounces of mezcal. Here we used Monte Lobos 100% agave mezcal, one ounce of fresh lime juice, one half ounce of orange blossom water, four slices of jalapeno, one half ounce of stevia simple syrup, one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, and one teaspoon of chili powder. First, I coated the rim of the glass using the stevia syrup, salt, and chili powder. Then I muddled the jalapenos in the lime juice, and then I added mezcal and the orange water, and I shook all ingredients in a shaker until with ice until chilled and strained over ice in a rocks glass. Mm. And last but not least, we have the Raspberry Basil Gin Fizz. Now, I love this cocktail uh, because you get that tart, sweet flavor of the raspberries, and it complements really nice with the spice of the basil. Plus, being a gin fizz, we get to add egg white to this um, for a little bit of extra uh, nutrient as well as that nice, frothy head. Here we go. raspberry basil gin fizz you'll need two ounces of gin uh, here we used Hendrix summer solstice uh, one half ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice one half ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice and one half ounce of stevia simple syrup six raspberries three to five basil leaves and one egg white first you'll muddle the raspberries and basil with the citrus juice then you'll add the gin and stevia simple syrup and dry shake and then you're gonna to wanna to strain out the berry pulp and then add the egg white. Once you do this, you'll shake with ice until chilled and strain over ice in a rocks glass. Uh, and then I garnished this one with a basil sprig. All right, guys, so that concludes my five favorite keto cocktails. All of these recipes will give you a drink that's uh, 200 calories or less uh, and less than three net carbohydrates. Um, now, I know a lot of them called for gin as the base spirit. Uh, if you didn't like gin and wanted to substitute that for vodka, you couldn't. It wouldn't change your nutritional values at all. And for the uh, smoky Keto Rita, I use Mezcal because I like it smokier. You could do that with just uh, a basic tequila. Um, just make sure it's a clear tequila. And again, that won't affect your nutritional values um, at all either. And as always, guys, if you found any value in this video or you found this entertaining at all, make sure you hit the subscribe 
button, hit the like button, and hit the bell icon so you know when I post new videos. We're still posting videos once a week, every Wednesday. And, uh, you know, again, if, if you like videos like this, make sure you mention it in the comments. And if you have any low-carb or keto-friendly cocktails to recommend yourself, do that in the comments as well. And until next time, see ya.